Jevon, son of a bitch. You build a good thing, work your hardest, and the past just claws at you. Jevon failed before he started. You know this. I do, and he doomed himself. But it smears all of the guard. I wonder what I would do if my captain lost my respect. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. Also, wife. Also that. I'll take it. I need a moment, Hawk, but... There is something else. Come back and talk to me. Like, seriously, that is a huge, huge problem with Eveline's behavior, is that she seduced, bedded, and married one of her underlings. That is a tremendous problem. I mean, we sort of hand wave it away, but even now she's dealing with him rather than with anybody else. Is he around? I don't think he's around. So it is a huge, huge problem. Either way, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, it's a kingdom, and that makes him king. But it's also a country. <laughs> I find interrogations are better as a two-way affair. You have no sense in your head. None at all. <laughs> You're the real guardian of such things. Keep the bottle. Hawk? Incorrigible. Utterly. Did you know I've been dead for seven years? I got word last week. They only just sorted the casualties of Ostagar. The King has offered to reinstate the commission of any surviving officers who will return to Ferelden. And? And what? Does this appeal matter? I thought you were sworn to Caelan. Regardless of who has the throne, I served Ferelden. The country survives, even if Caelan didn't. You brought it up. What's your decision? It's been a strange time here in Kirkwall. Did Carver ever tell you about that last night at Ostagar? How it happened? I don't mean the betrayal. Everyone knows the signal went up and the flanking charge never came. But that moment when the tower lit and then... The fight just kept going. It was the oddest feeling. Hope answered with... Nothing. I don't like the thought of going out with a whimper, Hawk. Not again. That's right, I had forgotten. I mentioned it before, what she's referring to there is the events at the beginning of the first game and how uh, the king was supposedly betrayed by his right hand or something. Um, but what, what happened was that the king disregarded the counsel of his right hand and, uh, and charged into the blight, into a huge army of of uh of uh whatever they're called of orcs basically and so the right hand decided that the king had died the right hand specifically i'm calling him the right hand but he, the names were just mentioned i forget the names but they're major characters in the first game um the right hand specifically mentions that the king is dead look at what the how the battle is going we can't reinforce the king is dead and they retreat and like it's portrayed in and 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 framed, I should say, by by the game, by the camera, it is framed as his betrayal, and there's no doubt that that is what happens. It was premeditated and uh, not premeditated necessarily, necessarily in the sense that that he made the king make a foolish a foolish decision, but rather the right hand was against the king attacking in that form, and the right hand was already expecting things to go the way they did and was already expecting not to reinforce the king but there's no reason for us to believe it not not as players and certainly not and not even the framing and certainly not the characters in the game there's no reason for us to believe that the right hand wouldn't have uh, reinforced 
had the king somehow been, you know, victorious or something. Because they wouldn't have said the king is dead if the king was all like, ah, this is going really well, ah, bring the flank and all that. No, the, the king rang the, the, or whatever, the beacon was lit and whatever, in a moment of desperation. I, 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 I don't remember exactly. It was right at the beginning, oh, the beginning of the first game, so it's been a long time, uh, and I only... Saw that. I saw that cutscene a few times, because uh, I started the Dra Dragon Age Origins a couple of times, but uh, I only finished Dragon Age Origins once, and so, in so basically, yeah, it's been a long time, but it is, it's framed as a betrayal, but it isn't, not in the sense that the right hand didn't force the king to go in, and in fact, ask the king not to. You enjoyed stringing me along too much. I can't keep a straight face for anything. But I wasn't always so sure. Thank you for everything. I have so much because of you. I'm here for you, Hawk. And for myself. It worries me that she doesn't have a shield anymore in that cutscene. In that last moment, that was she's just like, no shield! But no, she's not leaving, so that's good. You know, because I thought maybe she was going to leave. And that concludes her quests. Let's take care of Varric's quest. No, actually, you know what? Let's take care of Meryl. If I'm honest, I'm more interested in hers than than in Varric's. Let's, let's ask the Keeper. But she said that they are gone anyway. It makes me think... No, this is completely explored. That means we came to this area while they were here and explored this area, and then the area changed. No, they're still here. What? I was gonna say the area changed because they they left, and then it it still kept being explored. But what? She's right there. What was she going on about? Welcome home, Dalen. This isn't a homecoming keeper. Why is the clan even here? You should have moved on ages ago. The clan still has business here, Dalen. We will leave when it is time. It was time three years ago. You can't stay here. Eventually, the humans will force you to leave. There are plenty of hiding places in these mountains. We will stay until my business is done. If you are not returning to us, what has brought you back? If one of the Dalish becomes an abomination, what do you do? If you are hoping the Dalish hold miracles, child, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. Even if the demon is driven out, the soul is left scarred. It can never recover, not truly. Like a wounded animal, it will fall prey to scavengers. The only cure is death. How can Meryl fix the Alluvian? I wouldn't restore that cursed thing, even if I could. It has stolen life and promise from my clan already. And this was the least treacherous thing it was capable of doing. You must come to your senses, Meryl. This evil cannot be allowed in our world. It is part of our world. It has been in our world for centuries. No one is pained more by Maheriel's loss than I, but the mirror wasn't responsible. But I'm wasting my time. You'd rather fear the past than reclaim it. This is pointless, Hawk. Let's go. The hunters chased away another one last night. Too many Shemlin are coming here. We have to move soon. Can't you talk to the king? I tried. She's made up her mind. Yeah, the Keeper makes her mind up a bunch. I think Meryl might be about to die. Does anybody else get the feeling that this is going to end badly? Just me, huh? It's not all bad, Varric. Think of the stories you'd be able to tell later. Uh, no offense, Daisy, but I could live without telling anyone we murdered you on some mountainside. It's a little hard to make that one sound good. I mean... We could not murder her. And just... You know, we already have Anders. 
uh, we could we could just you know not murder her. Why are these spiders here? Explain to me, video game, why these spiders are here. Wait a minute. Does this have anything to do with the, you know, all the things we took from there? Also, we haven't seen... It's good that we come back here every once in a while. It's real good, because we remember. What should we be prepared for if something goes wrong? I'm not entirely sure. I've never seen an abomination myself. The Keeper said they warp and change before your eyes. So you want us to come and watch for something, but you don't know what. It's just a precaution, Aveline. Nothing will go wrong. Oh, that's reassuring. It is. That is what, literally, what reassuring means. It's her reassuring you. Yeah, but what's her name? The dragon that we, uh, that saved us at the beginning of the game. Or not necessarily saved us. No, no, sa saved us, yes. Yeah, what's her name? Who thought putting a demon in a cave on Sundermount was a good idea in the first place? Where would you have put him? To Vinter, maybe? Or in the Anderfells? Further away from Kirkwall, that's for sure. That's right, we read about Sundermount. It's close to Kirkwall, isn't it? It's, it's a lovely place, though. It's really good. It's not as good as the, the, the coasts. But, you know, can't, we can't all be amazing as levels. Speed! Did you... Do we have invisible skeletons? I don't think we do. Avalyn? No, we do. Oh, they're shadow assassins. That's why. Hmm. I can't say I like what I'm seeing. Because they're shades as well. Hmm. Okay, that's melting them a little. Ever so slightly. Okay, let's try to freeze you there. Let's be careful with not using too much. No, we're good. That was an easy battle. Uh, Pride's End. We've never been in there, have we? No, we have. We have. It's the, the place with all these dead people over here. And that thing down there. Where we fought a dragon, I think. Felandatis. And a strange idol. It's not strange. I think it was there. We saw it before. The name Felandatis is elven, meaning, quote, demon weed. It's cannabis. Unquote. Which is fitting for this rare plant because it grows only in places where the veil is thin. Felandatis is easily identified. It's a twisted, wicked-looking shrub with long, thorny shoots and no leaves. Th that's, yeah. A skeletal hand reaching out from a an un unmarked grave. Many... Oh, that's what it is, yes. Many swear the plant radiates a palpable aura of malevolence, so it comes as no surprise that it unnerves many a junior herbalist. You can't swear that it's palpable. Palpable means... Actually tangible, that you can touch with your hands. Palpable aura, it's figurative. And you can't, you, you can't swear about figurative things. It's like, I swear I'm frozen. Or I'm freezing, I suppose. Fr frozen wouldn't be. Swear I'm freezing. If you say it like that, what do you mean you swear you're freezing? You're not freezing. You're just a little bit chilly. You may be very uncomfortable. You may have a hypothermia. Still not freezing. Either way, strange idol. Hello. Something is wrong. This is where the spirit was bound. But now it feels... empty. Who bound this demon here and why? There was a war long ago. Between my people and the Tevinter Imperium. After the Magister sank Arlathan, 
My people made a last stand here, fighting on the graves of our elders. I don't know if it was the Elvenan or Tevinter who bound the spirit, but he was left here from the war. Maybe it freed itself? It would have taken powerful magic to break him free of this prison. You couldn't just set him loose. Nobody could. Not without doing something terrible. This is very wrong. It couldn't have just vanished. We'll track it down. He shouldn't have been able to leave. What happened to him? I... happened. Keeper. What have you done? The demon's plan was always for you to complete the mirror. It would have been a doorway out of this prison and into our world. You would have been his first victim. I couldn't let that happen, Dalen. You didn't think to mention that the demon was gone before we hiked all the way up here. <laughs> that's, that's the point. She's possessed, by the way. It's not gone. I couldn't fight it in the Fade while it was trapped. And I couldn't banish it without making it stronger. So... I made myself its prison. Kill me, and it dies too. Meryl will finally be safe. No! You can't ask the... I won't do this! You always knew your blood magic had a price, darling. I have chosen to pay it for you. Dareth Shira. Traitor. May the Dreadwolf hunt you for the rest of your days. Shut up. It's nothing doesn't concern you. This is a uh, This is an abomination. Is it the first time we see something like that? Look at that. Freaking hell. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, that was, that was, we could see that coming a mile away because she was talking like this. And uh, there's only two things that have happened to a character when a character starts talking like this, like that. Either they have a pointy weapon stuck to the middle of their back and the camera hasn't shown it yet. Or they have been possessed by a demon and are about to transform into this thing that we have in front of us. Obviously... It was the second option. I was tentative here and there about whether it was going to be the first one or the second one, but mm, I mean, in hindsight, I suppose we should have. I should have. Should have been a little bit smarter. Who is that? Who are you? What are you? I don't even. I'm just gonna. You know what? Let's let's do this. Um. Okay. Uh. You want speed, speed, and then you want to be over here. Oh, don't touch the demon. Don't touch the demon. It's oh freaking freaking hell. That is. I think we're all gonna take a bunch of damage from there. No, we didn't. Okay, demon is now golden demon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, let's see. Is this the one It stuns enemies? There's a thing that... Don't I have a thing? No, you don't, actually. There's the hex over here. Damage resistance reduced. I was trying to rebuild my life. Why did you have to come? Uh, why'd you have to come back and destroy it, says that person. Uh, I, dude, I'm busy right now. Do you not see? It. Okay, we have. Uh, yeah, we don't have too many things here. Uh, let's get Helen to move. Uh, better and better, says the demon. We're cursed, the whole clan, and you brought this upon us. No, not really. Um, not this. But also, I would have brought this upon you, you. yes, that is true. Before. Um, I, uh... You couldn't let go of the... Why? Well, you couldn't let go of the past, could you? Now look at what you've done. It's not actually... That's not... No. It's not... I mean, she talked about it already. She even has that weird line about... Uh, 
it's it being the future, even though she tells it in a weird way. She's focused on the future. You know, that's how historians do. This is going really well, though. What have you done? What have you brought upon us? Okay, that's going less well. Why are you tiptoe? Don't do that. That's bad. Hmm. Darling, turn back. Everything. I will still destroy you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. that is fair. It's uh, yes, that is indeed that is indeed a thing that will potentially happen. I don't know why you had the need to do that though. The 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 oh the strange idol. Hmm. Let me look at my quest journal. Doesn't tell me. Doesn't tell me what's going on. Exit. It's doing something to the idol, I think. But the hex lasts forever. That is brilliant. I love it. This demon is going down. There's a Kamehameha coming in, though. Oh. Uh, mm, 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 yeah. Are we going to be fast enough? We sort of were. Can I attack from here? I can. Let's do speed. And then attack. I don't know what was going on with the other people. Dalen. Keeper. You've beaten it, Dalen. You are so much stronger than I imagined. The demon is dead. Keeper, I... Let's leave this awful place. The clan should hear the good news. Welcome back, Keeper. Let's get out of here. I can hardly believe that's the end of it. That was such a... It's truly awful. I... <sighs> that was good. That was good. I don't know that... That was good. That was good. That was good. That's the, great, the greatest moment in the whole... Well, not... That's that's good. That was good. I cannot believe that I... Uh, on the one hand, I wish the game had committed to it and be like, Nope! Meryl is dead now! Even though you can resurrect her. Yeah, characters being killed like that is kind of problematic in games like this. But still, uh, it, it, in a weird way, I kind of wish that they had committed. But also, I'm glad they didn't, because uh, that way it's more fun. And we just live with the fact that she does have an injury. Which she doesn't have an injury. We, She had an injury for like a second, but the healing aura just heal, uh, fixes it immediately. Uh, but uh, And also she's a spellcaster, which means injuries don't matter. But that was good. That was really good. I could. I, I should have known. Keeper! What have you done? I don't want this! I never wanted this! Creators, please let this be a bad dream! I'll wake up and feel like an idiot, and she'll scold me for not listening. You were trying to help your people. She should have had more faith. If she hadn't have been so stubborn. If she had listened to me. She never believed in me. I... I should go to the clan. Someone needs to know. Needs to come. And take care of her. Yeah. Personally, I think that... She's she's in the wrong. Meryl is. Oh look, she actually does have an injury. Uh, I, I do think that she's in the wrong. But my character doesn't doesn't think she's in the wrong. So, yeah. <laughs>